<coughs> Excuse me, namaste, welcome. I just want to share the sunset dropping together. You see right now my face, it's half dark and half light. So which side is me? Which side is the real me? Is it the dark side or is it the light side? Which side can I say I am? Am I both? I have, have I choice? Will the sun make the decision? When the sun goes, I will remain dark. When I'm facing the sun, I will remain light. But remain is not what takes place. It's a temporary movement from the sun. It's a temporary movement. That's all. I am neither dark nor am I light. I am neither fully light nor am I fully dark. I am never constant, never the same. But consciousness reveals sameness. But it constantly changes light to dark. Calm to chaos, sense to nonsense, random changing, knowledge oozing. But when it's united and its whole essence of all these billions of tiny changes within it, there's no true level like the Bhagavad Gita says of consciousness, human consciousness, and then upper level, pure consciousness, transcendental consciousness, God consciousness. Consciousness does not have a direction. Each one of us are experiencing God consciousness at different intervals, at different times. It depends where you are in consciousness, but it does not depend where you are, it depends where consciousness is within you and out with you. If you can imagine a big bubble and inside this bubble there are winds all traveling against each other in every single direction, some really gusty winds and some breezes, some middle winds, some with no wind. Where are you in this bubble? You are not in a particular place because you are consciousness. So your unique DNA, your unique essence of consciousness is not in a place all A, B, C, D, E, F, G to Z. You are still, and consciousness is moving around you, because you are beyond consciousness. Through this bubble, this infinite bubble, is billions of spears, the true you, the axis. And within these, these spears, like maples, Traveling around these maples is consciousness. So that you think that you are moving. You think that you are the ribbon attached. You think that sometimes you are happy, sometimes you are sad. Consciousness is moving. The spear that you are within the bubble that surrounds you is your true self. The bubble that surrounds you gives you life. It gives yourself life. You cannot um, know yourself as a spear or a maple within this bubble without the bubble 
of consciousness taking place around you and within you. And consciousness does not know what it is without the spear holding it together. Billions of spears. This is not a bubble from the liquid child game. This bubble is limitless, sizeless, dimensionless, timeless. This bubble is all. You are this bubble and you are not this bubble. You are this spear and you are not this spear. You are both and you are neither. Everything you say seems right, but it's wrong. This is what it is. It has been seen. When consciousness goes, the spears will remain with no life. And these spears what is beyond them? Where do they attach to? Are they connected with some umbilical cord? Are we just the spears of God or some Brahmin creator? It doesn't matter. You'll never know. You are the maypole in your life, experiencing life, but never separate from eternal you. Consciousness is vital for you to see that you are this maple. This maple is vital for consciousness to come into life. They go hand in hand, separate but one, dual but non-dual. Man and woman, nothing can happen with the two, without the two. Life cannot go on without men and female making babies. Light cannot exist without dark, and dark cannot exist without light. Sunset cannot exist without sunrise, and sunrise cannot exist without sunset. Now, I just realized my little grandson up there reflecting, reflecting and deflecting the same scene. And I'm going to leave you with this. Both is the same and the same is both. Namaste. May your sunset and your sunrise be beautiful. Winking, light winking, dark.